uh, Tim Kaufman here, and uh, I'm in Port-au-Prince uh, with my friends Jeff and uh, Pastor Greg, and we're going to be getting on this little plane heading out to Lakai, and just finding out about what happened uh, after Hurricane Matthew and uh, how we can be uh, helping out uh, with uh, the relief efforts there. Uh, we are on our way to Sage and A, um, and you can see uh, the homes that have been uh, damaged and ravaged by Hurricane Matthew. Uh, you can also see the train uh, in which our team is having to walk. Uh, we're going to be go going to do a medical clinic, and uh, and so everyone's helping out, carrying stuff, uh, including our lunch, on the way down this very dangerous and rocky path. Hi, I'm Jeff Nyquist, uh, and we're here at the, the village of Saint Genet. Um, we're, we're here about a month and a half uh, after the hurricane hit. Um, I'm standing in a, a house that's very that's very representative of kind of what's left here after the hurricane. You know, we're doing a seminar today on, uh, on uh, the proper handling of water uh, and uh, hygiene, so that they can help prevent uh, cholera. But uh, much help is needed rebuilding here. People are awfully, they're very, they're just so thankful for uh, everything that they have left. <laughs> It's so wonderful to be back here in Charlotte worshiping, worshiping with you today. The extraordinary when we to Charlotte, we are doing some of the good here. Immediately after the hurricane, the area looked like a war zone. Most of the roofs were gone, our trees were gone, and it was desolation. Uh, some of the areas um, have been touched more significantly than others, but wherever you go, it's almost the same picture. No gardens, many of the animals were killed, uh, the birds uh, were killed, and those that were not killed have moved elsewhere, uh, uh, and the topsoil has been washed away, and the houses have been uh, destroyed. It's not a very, very healthy picture. Brother Tim, when the money arrived, we were not that far with the construction. So that money could be used, was used to cover the belt, added uh, the other walls of blocks, pour the last uh, uh, belt there, and then to pour the concrete, the, 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 the mezzanine. And, and here, this mezzanine became very handy after the hurricane because our pavilion was destroyed. Uh, then we can meet, we could meet and, and, and worship here, and we could use it for various kinds of meeting, as the ladies are meeting right there now. And also it provided shelter during the hurricane for many, many people in the community when, when their houses uh, uh, were destroyed by the hurricane. So the Lord knew exactly why this happened. It came right in the nick of time to save not only the congregation from missing worship for, for a few weeks, but also to save many uh, people from the community to save their lives and to provide a place for meetings uh, as uh, the pavilion was being used before. So it's a great blessing from uh, your community and we are uh, very thankful to, the com to your community and to the Lord for having provided this way. This is really, really priceless for that. Good morning, this is Pastor Greg here in Charlotte. We're at the Lutheran Church and clearing out the property making sure that they can get on with their lives and uh, do the best that they can. But uh, again, just uh, doing our God service here. Uh, so I congratulate the, uh, the team because uh, of the work he did do in, in Charlotte. Uh, well, I'm here at the airport in Lakai, and we've come to the end of our trip, uh, but there is still much work to be done 
here in Haiti. If you'd like to be part of the relief efforts in some way, please talk to me about mission trips coming up in February and the summer. Uh, if you'd like to help financially, uh, you can do so in your church offering um, and also through the designated mission funds. Bonjour, Benio.